Okay, everybody, so today I'm gonna to talk to you about Black Hat SEO. If you don't know what Black Hat SEO is, it's still a thing, it's still out there. It's a way that people basically try to target your website and take your website down. That's negative SEO, that's a type of Black Hat SEO. And it's also this concept of getting ranked or doing things in Google that are against their guidelines. So Black Hat SEO is anything that violates search engines terms of service. My name is John Lincoln. I'm an SEO expert. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about Black Hat SEO in this video. So first, SEO and Black Hat SEO, it's kind of broken up into two different areas. So there's link schemes and then kind of the general Black Hat SEO stuff, right? So let's start out with the link schemes. So what are the link schemes that are considered against Google's terms of service? First thing is buying links. So if you're buying links from other websites, you are not allowed to do that. Just purchasing a link, Google doesn't want you to do that. They want you to earn the links. Next, link exchanges. So if I say, excuse me, sir, if you link to me, I'll link to you from this website, that is not allowed. And if I say, oh, if you link to me from this website, I'll link to you from another website, that's also not allowed. They don't want you exchanging links. This used to be a huge thing that people would do uh, years and years ago, and it really worked very well, but today, you cannot do that article marketing, guest posts, anything that's low quality. So if I write 100 articles and I get them posted on a whole bunch of other websites around the web, Google is gonna pick up on that pattern and you're gonna get a manual action penalty which will show up inside a Google Search Console or you might get a penguin penalty, which is what happens when you have too many links pointing at your website with the same anchor text. Anchor text is just a term that basically means the text that's inside of the link. So if this was linked to, for example, it said link exchanges, link exchanges would be the anchor text of that link. So you can do guest posts, you can do article marketing, but it can't be massive, it can't be low quality articles, it can only be if you write a really great article and you link to something relevant within the article to something that's relevant on another website or on your website. Anything that's automated is bad. So there's a lot of different programs out there that do something called link indexing. So basically if you get a link on another website, there's a chance that Google might not even see that link. So you can use these automation programs to build a whole bunch of other links to a whole bunch of other links that would then go to that final link. So if your link is here and you have all these other links that are on these other sites and then all these other links on, the, on these other sites that are built by an automation program, these would link to these, these would link to these, and so on and so forth, and build more authority to this link that's going to your site, right? So automation programs are against Google's guidelines, and there's quite a bit of them out there. They're not quite as big as they used to be, though. And then profile links. So if you go out and you just build a whole bunch of social media profiles, or you build a whole bunch of profiles on forum sites, so on and so forth, profiles anywhere around the web. And then you put links in those to pages that you're trying to get ranked higher, you can get a penalty for that as well. That's Black Hat SEO. And then link networks. So any type of network where you go and you pay and they put you on a whole bunch of other different websites and, and link from those websites to your website, that's also Black Hat SEO. And Google is taking those down all the time. Okay, so we covered most of the linking stuff. Let's get into some of the other type of black hat SEO things that are out there. Comment spam. So if you are using a program to automatically generate comments on other websites, or to automatically generate comments on your own website, any type of fake comment that's helping you rank better in Google, or hurting your competitors and making them work, rank worse in Google through negative SEO is not allowed, and that is black hat SEO. Sneaky redirects, so if you have one page that's ranking and then you're redirecting somebody else to another page, that's an example of Black Hat SEO as well. Trading products for links, so that's another thing that you can't do. So you can't necessarily say, here's a product, 
link to my website. Here's some money, link to my website. That's the same as buying things. And link bait and switch. So if you create a scholarship, for example, say you have a scholarship and you're getting in a whole bunch of links in through the scholarship because educational institutions are seeing the scholarship, they want to link to it so that their students can, can find the scholarship. And, and this is something you really can't do anyways, but say you do that and then you eventually 301 redirect that page to another page to get the links going to another page. That is also black hat SEO and something you can't do. Uh, keyword stuffing, putting too many keywords on a page is, nothing, is something you can't do. Cloaking, showing Google one page but then serving another. Hidden content, you can't hide content on a page that's not allowed. Article spinning, just creating articles and just creating pages so that they rank in Google and they're very thin content. A lot of people will do this through some type of PHP script. Uh, there's this, some, something called a content matrix where you can create five versions of a paragraph, have dynamic fields, spin it, create doorway pages that rank in Google. You're not allowed to do that either. Scraped content, stealing content from around the web, serving that on your site so that it gets ranked, that's also not allowed. Funny thing about that, Google won't allow you to do that per their terms of service. You can't scrape content. But if you actually think about what Google does, they scrape content to serve it in their search results. And they're doing that more and more and more, especially with the new knowledge panels, rich snippets, things like that. And then even meta titles and descriptions. I mean, that's just scraped content. Of course, we want to do all this for Google because we want to get that traffic, right? And it's the biggest search engine in the world. Any auto-generated content you're not allowed to do. And then bait and switch stuff. We talked a little bit about social media spam. If you're just getting thousands and thousands of shares from other social sites that you're buying, that's black hat SEO and something you're not allowed to do. And then rich snippet markup spam. So putting rich snippets on pages, so putting elements in the code that are gonna enhance your listing inside of Google that's not actually relevant to that page, that's considered spam as well. So that's another thing you can't do, it's black hat SEO. Any automated queries. So if you're using something to generate fake traffic that's searching for your company or your keyword and then coming in and clicking on your website, that's called an automated query. That's nothing that you're allowed to do within Google. So no automated queries and no negative SEO. So if you really hate your competitor, you're like, I don't like this guy or girl, and I'm gonna build thousands of low quality links to his site to get him a penalty to make it look like he was doing all this black hat SEO stuff, you cannot do that. That's considered black hat SEO if you're doing black hat SEO and negative SEO against your competitor, okay? URL injection spam. So sometimes what you'll see happen is somebody will hack a site like WordPress and then they will inject links into pages or they will hack pages or they will create thousands and thousands of pages and, and, and this is just done through, through a, a script and then what happens is they put links on those pages. This happens a lot in spaces like uh, Viagra, Cialis, you know, these, these pills, right? And th these are notoriously kind of spammy areas for SEO. So watching out for hack, hacked websites, and you can always check that inside of Google Search Console if you have a hacked website or not. And then domain squatting. So if somebody goes and buys Coca-Cola and they won't sell it to Coca-Cola and they're just holding on to it even though that's their trademark, you're not allowed to do that as well. Black Hat SEO, these are all the things that you cannot do. Now, what do you do if you are being targeted by negative SEO or you're being targeted by Black Hat SEO from a negative perspective or you've done Black Hat SEO and now you wanna get your website back into a good place? Well, that's a good question. So all the link scheming type of stuff, that really goes through disavow files that as far as going into Google Search Console, you wanna disavow links, you wanna block those links. You have to go in and remove a lot of these links, so you'll have to go back and take them down. There's actually a tool called Remover, which is really good for sending out mass messages and keeping track of how many links have been taken down and how many haven't been. You can send automated messages in a sequence to take those things down. You're gonna to have to take down 
and, and cancel any type of automated programs, any type of sponsors you have, delete any profile links, and get, get out of any link networks if you want to get out of that whole black hat side and have your website be looked as a clean quality website inside of Google. Now these type of things also are going to need to be dealt with. So if you have done keyword stuffing, you're going to have to reduce it. If you've traded products for links, you're going to have to go back and clean that up. Maybe do a re-inclusion request uh, with Google. If you've done cloaking or hidden content or malicious content, you're going to have to clean all those things up. If you have doorway pages, you're going to have to take them down. You're going to have to redirect them. If you've done bait and switch, you're going to have to push that old page live that was there, or you're going to have to remove the pages entirely in 404 them. If you've got URL injection spam, if your domain's been hacked, you're going to have to check out the hacked area within Google to find out what's gone wrong and how you can fix it. And there's so much more too, so much more to negative SEO and Black Hat SEO that I didn't cover today. So that's it for Black Hat SEO. If you have a comment, make sure to leave one. I'd love to answer any of your questions on the topic. It's something that's out there, something that's still very real today. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.